time sure flies when you're not having fun, doesn't it? Believe it or not, we're down to less than 100 days before the election. Event-wise, this has been the worst lead into a presidential election since 1968. And in some ways, it's arguably far worse. Who would have ever imagined that we'd have an election year heading down to the wire with essentially no in-person campaigning, no big national conventions, and maybe no debates? Though I doubt there's any way Joe Biden's getting out of debating President Donald Trump. All this when the stakes for the country are higher than they've been since, oh well, maybe the Civil War. Elections mean things, and this year they mean everything. And that's why it's critical to continue uncovering what was done to try to hijack the last election. Sadly, one of the major ways to influence elections, though it's not supposed to happen, is through the use or the misuse of the tax-exempt 501c3 organizations. Like when the Obama IRS was clearly weaponized to disqualify Tea Party organizations that had been formed around conservative principles while letting most progressive groups sail right through to tax-exempt status. California Representative Devin Nunes broke some stunning news in an interview with Maria Bartiromo on her Fox Business News show. It's called Mornings with Maria. He talked about the most prominent liberal think tank, the Brookings Institute. It is, of course, a 501c3 being involved with, drum roll please, Christopher Steele and the dossier. According to Congressman Nunes, there are direct links between the 2016 president of major leftist think tanks like the Brookings Institute, longtime Clinton loyalist Strobe Talbot, and the creation and distribution of the phony Steele dossier. As he put it, I think they have real questions that need to be answered here about what on earth the president of Brookings was doing texting back and forth to Steele. Why was he accepting the dossier? Nunes returned Sunday to talk with her on Sunday Morning Futures, just as more news broke about the dossier. Steele's main concern and his main source has been unmasked and is identified as Igor Denshenko, who I would add is a close associate of Adam Schiff's star impeachment witness, Fiona Hill. Nunes first offered a little background, saying that a few months ago, he and Senator Lindsey Graham were saying they saw three Russians as possible sources, but that now it turns out that the one finally identified wasn't really a Russian. He was someone living right here in the U.S. Both the FBI and the media had led Congress and the American public to believe that Steele had some super secret Russian source. Turns out, that was just another lie. We've learned something else very interesting about him. Steele's Russian source used to work at the Brookings Institute. Somehow Steele had this really super secret source that nobody could know about. Well, it ends up that he used to work for the Brookings Institute. The president of Brookings back in 2016, we know that he had given the dossier to a few people. This was the Clinton campaign's dossiers. It was the dirt. It was a phony story uh, that they sold not only to the American people, but they sold it and corrupted our FBI, where it appears like these dirty cops were more than willing to take this information and present it to, to the FISA courts. Understand that all this material was completely unverified oppo research bought and paid for by the Hillary Clinton campaign. Reporters actually got Pulitzer Prizes for playing their roles in disseminating that rot. In Nunez's words, the whole thing was just some sick fantasy made up by the Clinton campaign. Once again, we can say that when it comes to corruption, all roads lead back to Hillary. Nunez says the investigation, by which I assume he means the Senate investigation, has now been expanded to include the Brookings Institute, specifically as it involves the IRS and a 501c3's legal obligation to stay out of politics if it's going to remain tax exempt. He says they clearly have not done that, and for the last four years they have obstructed the investigation with propaganda, and they've done it publicly attacking them through this kind of phony legal group of fact checkers that they set up. Now the other trouble spot at Brookings is its acceptance of foreign money. 
This may include even money from foreign governments. So the question is, what foreign countries are we talking about? Were donors acting on behalf of a foreign power to damage President Trump and help Hillary? And after President Trump and his campaign were looked at upside down and sideways, it became pretty clear that they had not colluded with Russia in order to win in 2016. But now we see that the Brookings Institute was playing politics on the Democrat side, and they did have foreign donors. Nunes asked rhetorically, I'd imagine, are they doing all of this not just to help the Democratic Party, but also any foreign government? Well, as they say, you can know what the left is up to by simply looking at what they accuse President Trump of doing. So why is it so important now to look at all this? Because there's a bigger question. If the Democrat Party could go this far to tip the scales in 2016, what links might they go in 2020 to win? Is there a limit? That'd be a no. So what on God's earth are they doing behind the scenes now under the cover of the coronavirus? And how do we prevail that in the last 100 days before the election is what we need to know and act on? Incidentally, Senator Lindsey Graham announced on Sunday that this week evidence is going to be released that shows not only did the FBI lie to the FISA court about the reliability of the Steele dossier, but they also lied about it in their 2018 testimony to Congress. And that is a separate crime, Graham said. I sure hope you're ready for the hammer to drop because with all this new evidence coming out, it really looks like it's about to. Well, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel below and clicking the notification bell to stay updated on new content. Please leave a like and share this video. And if you want more of my news analysis and commentary, sign up for my newsletter at mikehuckabee.com. It is completely free. Well, that's it for this edition of The Breakdown. I'm Mike Huckabee.